Don't tell rain. Hi. Hi, sir. What's your name? My name's Howard. Hi. My life partner is staying in your hotel with his boyfriend. Okay. Uh, room 125. Could you do me a favor, possibly? Sure. Could you ring What's the room? Uh, could you ring 125? They're... They may be in the middle of something, but you know, like I said, he's my lover, so he'll 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 answer. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you. No, oh, they didn't answer. Let me try them one more time here. All right, thank you. I got one twenty six. Why you one twenty six? Hello. Oh, I thought he said something. <laughs> yeah, they didn't answer. Um, oh darn. Do you suppose they all might be in one room or something? Yeah, I think they were all in one room. Okay. Uh, I think I had a lady just talk to 124. Let me try that one for you. All right. It's the room with all the faggots. Just... No, they don't seem to answer either. I'll try it one more time. Oh, well, you know what? That's fine. Maybe you could just help me with something. Yeah. Can you leave a message for them in the morning, maybe on a note card, and they could pick it up when you see them walk by or drop it off? Sure. All right. You got a pen and a pad there with you? No, I'm sleeping. Just a minute. All right. I use an output call through to after 11. Just a minute. All right, thank you. Get ready for it. Okay. All right, take this message down for 124. Yep. Last night was great. Although the doctor said the tearing will last three to four weeks... Just, just a minute. Last oh. night was... Although... Uh, what, do you, what do you have so far? I'm trying to write just a minute. Okay. Although the doctor... said... Okay, although the doctor said... Although the doctor said the tearage will last three to four weeks... The carriage? The tearage, tearing, uh, rippage, I don't know how to put it. Okay, tearage, okay. Okay, will last three to four weeks. Okay. I think I could be back on the bottom as soon as next Tuesday. Will last three to four... And then what? What is it? What was okay? Three to four weeks. I've got what? Uh, I could. I think I could be back on the bottom with by next Tuesday. Back on the bottom by next Tuesday. What's the guy's name? Uh, Michael. Uh, also add P.S. I'm looking forward to the protein shakes for dinner. Uh, just a minute. I ran out of paper. I know you're gonna. Talk to him long. <clears throat> okay. Uh, by next Tuesday. Now go ahead. Uh, I'm looking forward to the protein shakes for dinner. His name is Michael. Yes. Can you read it back to me so I know it's correct? Yeah. Okay. Last night was great. Although the doctor said uh, the tearage will last three to four work weeks. Can be back on the bottom by next Tuesday. <clears throat> I am looking forward to the protein steaks for dinner. All right. Um, can you put a P.S.? Put a Yep. All right. P.S. Um, let me let me think about this, cause you know I, I don't want to make it too long for you. Yeah, don't. Mm. I run this all by myself. And I'm uh, P.S. Um, mm, I'm trying to. I think. That, how do I? How would I? How would I make? I want to suck your dick short. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, well, then, I want to. Okay, that's enough. All right, so read the whole thing back. No. Damn it. I'm going to sleep now. I'm trying to run this son of a bitch all by myself, and I don't put the calls through till after 11 unless 
it's an emergency here. It is 2 o'clock in the morning, and this is an I got your message. I read it to you once, and that's it. This is an emergency. I want him to suck my dick right away. <laughs> Hotel guy. Motel Rain. Yeah, what number are you guys on uh, 20? What? Uh, what What number are you? Oh, 376-2030. Uh, all right. Do you, do you guys have a sign outside? We do have a sign outside. Uh, okay. Uh, one more quick question. Um, can I suck your dick, you faggot motherfucker? Hey, you son of a bitch, you come over here, I'll stomp your fucking ass in the dirt and break your dick off and hand it to you on a plate. You ain't doing shit. Pussy. <laughs> Motel Rain. Yeah, what is your problem? You're going to jail, fucker. Motel Rain. I sense a lot of hostility in your voice. <laughs> Motel Rain. Yeah, are you angry? Take off my phone, asshole. Motel Rain. Yeah, are you going to be okay? Get a life, you scumbag piece of shit. Motel Rain. Yeah, what is going on? Motel Rain. Do you not, like, work? You're a stupid motherfucker. Motel Rain. Dude, what is your problem? <laughs> You're my fucking problem, asshole. I don't know what town you live in, but if I could find you, this son of a bitch, I'd drive over there and deal with you myself. What would you do? Motel Rain. Hey, what, what exactly would you do? Motel Rain. Hi. What is going on? Yes, you on? know, I'm going to press charges on you for this, you asshole fucking motherfucker. How? Motel Rain. Yeah. Do you need to sleep or something? The fuck's your problem? I want to talk to you. Yeah, fuck you. Motel Rain. Look, I think we got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> Why don't you just drive out here to this fucking motel and look me in the eye? Let me just kick the shit out of you and wipe your ass right up in the fucking dirt. <laughs> motel Rain. Yeah, look. You're too big a chicken shit to come out here and face me, aren't you, asshole? You keep hanging up. <laughs> Motel Rain. Dude, why do you keep hanging up? I'm trying to sleep, goddammit! What the fuck's the matter with you, you son of a bitch? What? I'm trying to sleep. Why, don't you have to work? I work all fucking day and I stay up all night talking to assholes like you, I guess. What? One asshole, you're the only one that does this shit to me. Well, listen, man, why don't you talk to me and I'll stop calling. Yeah, well, why don't you make a fucking few terroristic threats and then I can put you in jail for that, too. I know Al-Qaeda. Motel Rain. Yeah, what in the hell are you talking about? Motel Rain. Are you okay? Motel Rain. <laughs> you ain't never gonna learn, are you, motherfucker? What's the matter? And I'll just beat the shit out of you. Come out here. What's the matter with you? No balls, huh? I got, got balls. fucking monkey nuts. Monkey nuts. <laughs> Motel Rain. You cocksucker, you caused me to lose $250 worth of business the other night, you son of a bitch, because I can't answer my fucking phone at night because you cocksucking son of a bitch and two ball fucking nut headed bitch. What? That was. Motel Rain. Yeah, how did I make you lose? Stay off my phone, scumbag motherfucker.
motel rain. Dude, how did I lose you money? Yeah, how the fuck could I lose two hundred fifty dollars? Because you, because you cock sucker, I have to shut my fucking phones off at night, and it's a fucking business, and you son of a bitch and dirty rotten cock sucking son of a bitch and bastard, you won't fucking leave me alone. <laughs> motel rain. Yeah, what's your latest uh, checkout time, or check-in time, rather? Uh, 24 hours a day. Uh, so I could come in in about three and a half hours. Uh, we're, uh, Anytime you want. All right. Uh, one last question. Can I suck your dick, you fucking? Yeah. Asshole? You know what? We're not starting this shit again yeah. tonight. I'm unplugging my phone. Pussy. Won't answer. You faggot little pussy. That's what I thought, bitch. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Motel uh, Rain. Yeah, Howard. You're not too motherfucking smart, are you? Because if I ever get my hands on you, there'd be hell to pay. You I'll deal with you, you, motherfucker. You talk all get this shit. Get off my fucking phone and stay off it. You son of a bitch, you got no fucking nuts. Howard, you talk all this When I get through with you, you won't have one of the two. Howard. Motel Rain. What is your problem? Fuck you, asshole! Get off my fucking phone! No. <laughs> Motel Rain. Fuck you. You dirty son of a bitch! Motel Rain. Howard, what Fuck is... Fuck you! <laughs> wow, I love this guy. Motel Rain. Howard, what is wrong? It's a business phone, motherfucker. Stay off it. No, it's not. You don't have... Motel Rain. Yeah, hello? You're about a stupid bastard. You know that? You dumb cocksucker. Excuse me? Motel Rain? Hey, dipshit, what are you doing? <laughs> Motel Rain? Motel Rain? <laughs> Motel Rain? Are you alright, Howard? If I ever get my hands on you, cocksucker, I'll break your fucking head off and shit your neck, you son of a bitch! Your horse is cocksucking rotten son of a bitch and motherfucker! You dirty bastard! What? If I could find you, you son of a bitch, I'd kick the shit out of you like you never fucking even fucking heard of anybody getting their shit kicked out of me. You're a cock fucking slumbag son of a bitch! Wow. Motel Rain. You're gonna have a heart attack. Get off my phone, cocksucker, you dirty, rotten son of a bitch. You're the motherfucking scum of, son of a scumbag motherfucking son of a bitch and cocksucker I've ever seen in my life. You son of a bitch, if you were here, I'd pull your fucking dick off and <laughs> chop it up in little pieces. You dirty, rotten son of a bitch, if you were here, I'd fucking bury your head in the fucking mud till you suffocated, you cocksucker. Bill Rain. So let me get this straight. You're gonna. I'm tired of your head, goddamn fucking harassing phone calls, son of a bitch, and I'm gonna have to find somebody to do something about it. If they don't, I'll tell you what. If I ever find you, if I ever find you, get my fucking hands on you. You'll fucking get the beating you never fucking ever dreamed of. <laughs> I never dreamed. <laughs> Motel Rain. Hey, what's this, man? Motel Rain. I didn't call you some, uh, some idiot must have called you. You bastards stay off my phone, god damn you. Yo, where's that guy? Where's that black guy I was talking to? Oh. 
Some guy's playing a joke of you, man. You son of a bitch, just stay off my goddamn telephone. Wow, well, I called 911 for you, man. <laughs> hey, hey, do me a favor, man. Call 911, please, man. I want 911. Can you dial 911? I got too much trouble for you, man. Motel Rain. How much money do you think I cost you tonight? God damn you. Get off my phone, asshole. I know you cost me at least 50 bucks because I see the fucking car drive out of here that tried to call me from the fucking front door with the number on the door, you son of a bitch and bastard. You dirty, rotten bastard. You cocksucker. Oh, my God. Motel Rain. Yeah, you think I look, little boy, with no fucking dick. Cause you had a dick, you'd go fuck some chicks instead of bothering me all the time. You son of a bitch and fucking scumbag. You're the lowest fucking form of the fucking scum of the fungus on worm shit. You cocksucker. You dirty rotten bastard. <laughs> Motel Rain. Yeah, why are you so? Yeah, violent? cocksucker. You ain't gonna get, you ain't gonna talk to me anymore tonight because I'm shutting my fucking phone off if I lose five hundred dollars worth of fucking business. Cause I gotta get some fucking sleep because I run this son of a bitch by myself twenty four hours a day and cocksuckers like you, you dirty rotten son of a bitch, you ought to be fucking gut shot. Gut shot. Motel Rain. You know you're gonna lose business if you take your phone off the hook. <laughs> Motel Rain. Howard, you're going to lose business. You motherfucker. Why do you have a whistle? Motel Rain. Dude, what's with the whistle? Fuck you, jerkwad. <laughs> Turn my mic off. Motel Rain. Hello, dear. Can you hear me? I'm on my phone cellular phone. You see what I mean, dude? <laughs> wow, wow. He thought that was a prank call, huh? No, he... Solar forgot to patch us back through. <laughs> I was just wondering if you have any instruments. <laughs> Sounding voice. Not gonna answer. <laughs> Motel Rain. Yeah, hi. My sister just called, and uh, she was trying to book a room for this weekend. Um, she got disconnected. Yeah, she didn't get disconnected. She hung up. Excuse me. Uh, see. <laughs> Motel Rain. Howard, you're yelling at everybody that calls you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he thinks that that's going to stop you and shit. <laughs> Do an Motel Rain. Hello? Hi, is Hello? Motel Rain? Hi, yes. um, I... I stayed there about maybe a week or two ago, and I just had a few questions if you have time. Yep. Um, sorry, this is, like, really embarrassing, but I got, like, a rash, and I was just wondering um, what detergent you use, or if there's, like, I don't know, if, if you, like, wash your sheets after every customer, or what's going on. I think he hung up. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what a dick, dude. He hung up? Dude, I'm telling you he's doing it to everybody that calls. Like, I, I don't know. No, no, wait. Let me call him back and just be like, hey, I'm sorry. Did you hang up on me? All right. Hold that on. was... Howard, next voice. Really rude. Motel Rain. 
Hi, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't. I don't know if my phone. Yeah, was just stay off my telephone. Excuse me. Motel Rain. Dude, what the hell is your problem? Did you just? Are you fucking kidding? Motel Rain. I bet you thought I wasn't gonna call you tonight. <laughs> Howard, why do you hang up so much? Dude, listen, shithead. Fuck you, asshole. I traced one of your little fucking girlfriend's calls last night. Now, you son of a bitch, I'll get you and I'll press all the fucking charges all the fucking way I can. <laughs> you right. dirty son of a bitch and rock gut son of a bitch and scumbag. Hey, 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 was the number 718 by any chance? Howard. Howard. <laughs> Dude, was the number 718? Asshole! <laughs> you got your whistle right on. Hello? Hello? Now he's just hanging up. Tell Rain. Dude, what in the hell is your problem? Yeah, I tell you what, listen to me. If you were out here, I'd take this beer bottle and break it. Instead of drinking this beer, I'd drink, break the fucking neck off and shove it right up your ass and let it cut all the way, asshole! You're drinking a beer on the job? <laughs> Rain. Dude, you shouldn't drink on the job. Fuck you, asshole. My phones are going off now. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> this is Howard. Howard, what's going on? Yeah. yeah, nothing. How you been? Who is this? It's Rev, bro. What? Rev, how you doing? Are you calling for a re reservation? No, I'm calling to tell you you're a jackass. Uh, this is Linda what? Uh, my name is Linda Cohen. I'm the night auditor at Spring Hill Suites in Gahanna, Ohio. Someone patched me through to you. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what, the crank callers, they got a whole network of this thing going, and, um, wow. they, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. They call here 200 times a day sometimes. Uh, who am I speaking to and where have I reached? Oh, my name's Howard Ferguson. I own the Motel Rain in Valentine, Nebraska. Oh, man, this is absolutely crazy. <laughs> I just get on my shift like five minutes ago, and he says, uh, I've got somebody that needs to speak to you, and I thought maybe it was one of our guests that was in yeah. transit. They I had no idea. To, they patched me through the Motel 6 in Big Springs, Nebraska, last night. It just happened I knew the guy. Do you, oh, have, a fax, do you have a fax number? I got a little article about him. Uh, yeah, here. let me give it to you. Hang on a second. Seven zero. Four seven seven zero. I might have the authorities call you. And you're in what town in Ohio? Uh, we are in Gahanna, Ohio. We are the Spring Hill Suites by Marriott Columbus Airport in Gahanna, Ohio. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's. How do you, uh, spell, let's how do you spell the name of the city? Uh, G A H A N N A, Gahanna. Okay, great. Um, okay, you're so forty seven fifty. That's a fax. I'll fax this right over to you. I won't even put a cover letter on or anything. But um, what article is it? It's a well. It's a thing that that tells about their um, tells about their their website. Who is they? <laughs> and and pretend like you're a hotel and just say someone keeps patching me through to you, and then ask him about what it, just, he'll tell you. He'll spell the beans. Hold on. I'm not saying what shit. Do do? Just say you're from a hotel and somebody said that you're patching me through to talk to you. Motel Rain? Hi. Who's this? Motel Rain? Hi, this is a hotel in Gahanna. I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you. Who is this? This is the Motel Rain. Can I help you? No, uh, who are you? I work at a hotel. Oh, okay. Uh, what hotel do you work at? Um, I work at the Hilton over in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, okay. There's some crank callers are patching people through to to me, to you, to everybody. Okay. What's the name of your hotel? Um, the Hilton Corporate. I'm I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. The Hilton. Okay. 
Do you have a phone number or a fax number? I can fax you an article about these guys. Okay. Um, it's six one two eight nine two. Two eight nine zero. Two. Okay. What's your phone number? The same as the fax. Oh, the same as the fax. Okay. Six one four four near Columbus, Ohio. I'll fax this over to you. No, it's two. It's two eight. Oh, four two eight. Okay. I'll send this over to you. Think. Okay. Uh, oh, do you have a phone number? Um, I don't want to give it. The fax. Oh, that's right. You said that. I'll I'll give it to the authority to the authorities. And uh, this this fax I'm sending you kind of explains who these guys are. So I'll send All that right, fax right thank now. You. Yeah. All right. All right. Dude, he's going to submit shit to my house. I have a fax. All right. Look, you got. I'm gonna call him back, and you say hi. Did uh, can you send that fax right away? Because these people. Wait, been... he's sending the fax right now. Are you getting it? Hold on. <laughs> Look at how this like is ringing. He's sending it right now. Yeah, it's ringing. I'm like shaking. He's scary. <laughs> Dude, it's it's gonna say stick cam as a whole. <laughs> he he thinks I own stick cam. <laughs> He's gonna. He said, "I'm gonna give your number to the authorities." He's gonna give my house number to the authorities. So what, dude? If we're not doing anything illegal until we're pranking or until we're threatening to kill him or something. Yeah. You gotta read this fax to me, dude. Okay, hold on. It's not coming through. The fuck. <laughs> What's Ward Bill? The fuck? What? The thing on the caller ID was Ward Bill. I don't know. He probably like called it. I watched him like leave a message. Shit. Hold on. I'm gonna have you call him back and say that your fax machine uh, didn't receive it. Can you send it again? Hold on. But what if he heard my voicemail? He won't. Just say that. Wait, watch here. Motel Rain. The Hilton. Motel Rain. Hello, hi, it's me again. Mhm. Mm um, I don't know how I got connected with you. Oh, okay. You're in, you're the one. You're the person in Columbus, Ohio. Yes. Okay. What's your What's your name? Victoria. Victoria. Okay. Uh, these guys. Let me call you back because they 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 listen. I'll call they you right what? back. They They listen oh. in. They broadcast okay. this. They broadcast this on a website. Oh. I'll call you right back, Victoria. All right. Thanks. Dude, he's gonna call my house. Dude. I hear that it's on speaker, but he's just going to be like, can you take me off speaker? Oh no, my no. god, he's calling. Do it, do it. Hold Put on. it on speaker. Okay. It says motel rain. Okay, hold on. Oh. Hilton. Victoria? Yes. I work with the motel rain in Valentine, Nebraska. Oh, hello. These guys, these guys do this all night long. I mean, did, did, did that fax come through okay? Um, no, it didn't come in at all. Oh, okay. I'll try to refax that to you. That's the same as your phone number? Yes. Okay. These guys do this. They call here as many as sometimes 200 times a night. Oh, they wow. They've got a website called stickham, S-T-I-K-A-M dot com, in case you don't get the, the facts. And it's just got all kinds of weird people on it. And uh, But they, <coughs> they, can, they continue to just pass me through the other hotels. Uh, you know, 15 minutes ago, I was talking to Beaver Lodge Motor and Beaver Lodge Alberta. Oh. And before that, I was talking to uh, Spring Hill Suites in Gunn, Ohio, and mm -hmm. Motel 6 in Big Springs, Nebraska. That's all tonight. And they call, like, your place, and then they hook up somehow. They hook us up. And then they, they have this website. And while we're talking, then they broadcast this. It's like, oh, quickstickup.com is like web radio. Oh my gosh, do they think that's funny? Oh, it's just bizarre. I mean, they, I'm just kind of a one-man show. I'm the owner here. Oh, really? And, I mean, they just wear me out. They'll do this from start 
from like 10.30, 10 o'clock till uh, Friday night, it was 10 after 5 in the morning. <gasps> and, you know, I don't run a 24-hour desk, so if you don't answer your phone at night, then you lose. Yeah, I understand. That's the worst thing. It's a bad deal. I've lost five, six hundred dollars over this, I'm sure, you know, that I know about. Oh, my goodness. I mentioned the calls that I've missed that I just too tired to answer the phone. And I'm too angry. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. But anyhow, that's what's going on. Ask him, wow. ask him what he's going to do. Let me try to fix ask him what he's going to do legally. What is he going to do? And, you know, the best thing to do is that, you know, I have to contact Ask him what he's going to try to do. not doing much. But I think if enough of us get a hold of the police, why? Like, been on the Stick'em website? S-T-I-C-K-A-M.com. Have you been on it, though? It's a water park. Oh. Indoor water park. Okay. Okay. And actually, my my dialing, it sounds like. So, but anyhow, I'll, I'll try to make sure you get this back here tonight. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, let me give you an 800 number. 800 3066. Okay. So the problem is just call me and I can tell my local authorities here. All right. I will. My name's Howard. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your help. You're welcome. I don't think I'm going to be getting that fax. Okay, what were you trying to say? I couldn't I was trying to, at all. I was trying to tell you to ask him if he knows who's pranking him or if he thinks it's the entire stick cam side. I think he does. Because there's, there's a whole bunch of weirdos. Yeah, that's, it's definitely not coming through. Damn it, dude. Are you sure your fax is working properly? Probably not. My mom's getting the worst. Well, it's raining. What do I do? Hit accept or something. I don't know. It's incoming call. Hit okay. There's no okay. Receiving. Fuck yeah. Hit. Okay. It says he. Hold on. It's like it says organization name, and it doesn't say anything. Country U.S. First name, last name, and it just goes down and like push it, and it doesn't answer. It says text field. If you would like to know who is calling you every day, go to the link below. Basically, they are doing live prank calls. On this, ooh, on this website every night around 7 to 10 for a dozen idiots with no life, I suggest you report it to the police or something because at this point, it's no longer a simple prank call, but <laughs> probably stalking and harassment. I'd recommend that you don't even bother t talking to them anymore because talking is pointless. They want you to answer so they have a reason to keep calling back for more information. Anyways, the link to the room is www.stickcam.com slash rev420. We know, wait, 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 wait. I know exactly who gave him the name now. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, keep going. Keep going. What's that? What? Hmm? Keep going. Keep reading. That's, that's all it says. Oh, okay. And then it says something, someone wrote something and it says, Ben McBride, Valentine, Alaska, Chief of Police. It's fake. I know who it's from. Of course it was Isha. Motel Rain. Hello, Howard. It's Victoria. Yeah. Hi. Do Hi. you know who wrote this? No, I didn't know who wrote it. I uh, Actually, a girl called me and said, 
because I was able to trace one phone number back. I, mostly, most of the time I can't trace their phone numbers. But I was able to trace one phone number back, and then a girl called me and said, I'm only 15 years old, and I don't want my mom to find out I'm involved in all this, and, you know, I'm... Stick'em is their website, and you know they've got you recording you on like a live radio on the web and all that. And I wasn't sure to believe her or not, you know, whether to believe her. And I have reason to think that she's the one that wrote this, but mm -hmm. I don't know that, and I was not able to reply to it. You know, they're pretty savvy about how to dodge any other, you know, contact back from from us from me. You Have know. you been on the website, the stickyam dot com slash rev four zero two? I got all. I guess I just opened it up and looked at it. I mean, I've never done anything on it, you know, but I just opened it up and looked at it and saw pictures of all the weird people on there. And well, I I will have to check that out. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think it's dangerous as far as viruses and stuff go, but it's just like there's yeah. thousands of people on this thing. Well, when I get done with what I'm doing, I'm going to definitely get on the internet and check that out. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But so you did get the facts, okay? I did. Good, Thank you. great. Yeah, um, I just, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know how to end it. It's just like it's just a total nightmare for me, where I just kind of run the thing by myself. We only have 34 units, and you know, to mm -hmm. keep costs down, you just try to do as much of it yourself as you can. And my wife is doing a nursing job. Uh, contract job in Colombia, South America. So you know, I'm just here by myself, and yeah. it just gets almost unbearable. I mean, it's just crazy. They probably yeah. last night, last night alone, they would have called me 200 times. Wow. You know, and there's well, nights. Life. I they have like several people call you. You know, so if you got five, ten people call you twice an hour, it's it's easy to get 20 calls an hour, 30. Mm -hmm. So. It's just, it's to, and then somehow they hook me up, like with you, and like I say, they hook me up with that uh, Beaver Lodge Motor Inn in Alberta tonight, and Spring Hill Suites, mm -hmm. and, and, in you know. Indiana, Ohio? No, Beaver Lodge uh, Motor Inn's in Beaver Lodge, Alberta. No, Spring, Spring Hill in Gahanna, Ohio? So that's in Ghana, Ghana, Ohio? Yeah, that's, that's close to. Yeah. Here. Okay. So somehow they're getting you guys' numbers and just, you know, which all of our numbers are, are public numbers. I mean, you know, anybody can get them. Yeah. And, uh, but it's a, it's a, like a nightmare. Yeah. So it's crazy. So can you hold just one moment? Sure. Can you? Victoria? Yes. Yeah, that was them. See, again, just now, when I put you on hold, the phone had rang several times. Oh, and, my goodness. Uh, yeah, it's just crazy. And, and, you know, some of the stuff they do is like threats and obscenities. And, you know, I don't know why somebody won't shut them down, but they're not. So authority-wise, you know. Do you so. – I'm, I'm trying to figure this all out, though. Do you have the email? Like, did someone send you that on an email? Yeah, they sent that to my Motel Rain website. What was the email address? Did it say – no, they didn't see. You know, as you can see by looking at that, there's no, there's no, uh, see this forms manager? I, mm -hmm. I actually discover network. So, like, if you if you got on my website and made a reservation, then mm -hmm. it would come in to me just like this email did. And my actual email address is my, and okay. I tried to answer this email, and it just came back undeliverable. Oh. So, you know, whoever whoever did this sent this email was smart enough to, you know, they didn't want me to get back to them or anybody. So, yeah. All right. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sounds anyhow, like it. Yeah, that's the deal. So, uh, you know, if, right. if, if you hear more from them or something, you know, that it continues, well, let me know and I'll... Well, thank, thank you. Thank you, Victoria. Bye. Thank you. All right, bye. Uh, Motel Rain? Yes, um, he wanted 15 waffles. I'm sorry? Um, yes, um, I just had someone order from, that they were going to dispatch me to the boss. Uh, yeah, this is the Motel Rain. Okay, 
Did you have someone that wanted to place an order with the Waffle uh, House in Austin Town? No, 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 no. I'm in Valentine, Nebraska. You, what you got? We got a bunch of crank callers, and they call and hook me up with people, and you know, stupidity. Are you stupid? Oh my god! No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they they okay. apparently do this for the computer, and they got a website, and they patch me through to other people, and I get calls from hotels. And where, what state are you in? Texas. I mean oh, Ohio. Shit. I'm sorry. Oh yes, yeah, so I get a lot of. They do. They do a lot of people in Ohio. I don't know what. I don't know what the deal is. So well, I apologize. Um, I mean. We're okay. a legitimate business, but they're just, we're both victims, I guess. Okay. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Motel Rain? Yes, this is uh, Rick over at Waffle House. I guess they're patching me through to you on an order. Yeah, I don't know who did that. Where you at? So some lady from Waffle House called and said you were in Ohio. Yes, we are in Ohio. <laughs> I'm in Nebraska, so it won't do me much good order for me, would it? Somebody, somebody, somebody doing that. Yeah, we're definitely in Ohio. Yeah, no, I'm in Nebraska. So. Alrighty, so we're really not okay. ordering then, right? No, well, no, no. Not for me anyhow, huh? All right, thank you. Hello? Hi. Motel Rain? Yes, they passed me through. Are you the same person I just talked to about waffles? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Motel Rain? Motel Rain? Hello? 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 Who is this? Uh, this is the Motel Rain. Who? The Rain Motel. No, I don't know who you are. Oh, okay. I don't know who you are either. Motel Rain. Hello? Motel Rain. Hello? Hello? Hello. Who is this? Motel Rain. What? This is the Rain Motel. You're what? I don't know who you are. Motel Rain. Hello? Stay off my telephone. What? What? Oh, come on, answer. Is this Bob? Yeah, is this the McDonald's on 20? What? Is this the McDonald's on Highway 20? Yes. Yeah, hey, how you doing? This is Howard from the Motel Rain. Yeah? Yeah, can you, uh, can you do me a little bit of a favor? I got kind of a dilemma out here. One second, please. Well, go ahead. Um, What's I, your dilemma? I need to order some cheeseburgers, but I need, is there any way that someone could drive them out here for us? Because we're in the middle of this big meeting. Man, I can't. I got, there's three of us working. I don't have nobody to bring them. I'll, I'll tip somebody a hundred bucks, man. Seriously, we just need this food for the meeting. The motel range right right up to right now. The motel rain. You know where you know where I'm located. Yeah. Yeah. How many did you want? Uh, at least huh? at least ten double cheeseburgers. At least. Hold on a second. talking to? Uh, Howard from the Motel Rain. I'm the owner. You're the owner? Yeah. And you, you'll give somebody a hundred bucks to bring you ten double cheeseburgers? Well, yeah. Actually, you should bring about fifteen, but I'll tip you a hundred bucks and whatever the price for the food. 
You're not serious. Yeah, I'm dead serious, man. You are serious? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Well, because we get prank calls every now and then. Oh, no, this is but serious, if, man. If you're serious. Can, can you do uh, that? How, right. how long How long till you need them? Uh, as quick as you can make them, man. All right. All right, thanks, bro. We'll, we'll, uh, be we'll, here. We'll I'll, have them out there. I'll be at the front desk. You'll Pardon? see me. I will be at the front desk, Howard. Okay. All right, thank okay. you. All right. Later, thanks. man. Motel Rain. Hello. Motel Rain. Hello. Yes. Yes. Did you put somebody up to call here? No, I did not. Oh, well, the person on the phone right now, the one that called you on three-way, said that you wanted to talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. That's he's, he's a prank caller. Okay. Thank you. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Motel Rain. Hello? Hello? Yeah, who am I speaking to? This is Bob. Hey, how you doing, Bob? Uh, what, you you new working there? Yes. Oh, uh, when would you get hired? Oh, five, six months ago. Oh, well, what happened to Howard? He's on vacation. Oh, where'd he go? He went to Columbia to see his wife. Columbia, huh? Yeah, who's this? Hey, how you doing, man? So anyways, everything popping over there? We're fine. You're fine? Hey, listen, let, yeah. me, let me ask you a question. Do you suck dick? Hotel Rain. Yes, this is your 1136 wake up call. How are you today, sir? Oh, I'm pretty good. Uh, would you like another wake up call tomorrow at the same time, sir? Your what? Would you like a wake up call tomorrow at the same time? Do I want one? You yeah, listen, fuckface. I'm from the uh, wake up call company. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Swift. Hey, rain. shit for brains. How you doing? Hi. How you doing, fucker? So look, can I come over there and uh, stick my finger in your ass? No, I'm going to bed. Bed? Don't you have a job to do? It is almost midnight in Valentine, Nebraska, so... Why are you answering the phone? It's almost midnight. I you? just got done checking in my last customer. Oh. Well, you, you you answered the phone, so maybe you're open for business, right? No, I said I just checked in my last customer. I was just getting ready to walk out of the office. Well, where do you get off calling me a name like that? What? Why did you just say that, man? I'm here on the phone asking you about your business hours. You're going to call me a stupid shithead? I didn't call you nothing. You just did. I did not. Whatever. We're not going to backpedal in your conversation. So what were you trying to say? I'm going to bed. Why? Shouldn't you be booking the rooms? I just checked somebody into a room. You got to check me into a room, stupid. No, I don't. Yeah, because I'm, bo I'm booking a room, buddy. Motel Rain. Hey, who's this? This is John. Hey, John. I didn't know. Who are you? I'm pretty new here. Oh, you just started, eh? Yes, sir. Hey, where's Howard at, man? He's sleeping at the moment. Oh, hey, can you wake him up? I got something important to tell him. I'm his. I'm a brother of his. Stepbrother, kind of. Okay. Do you have a cell phone number? Uh, no, I don't. Do you got it? Um, hold on a minute. Let me see if I can find it. All right, cool. Hello, sir. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Listen, I just talked to... I, well, I didn't talk to Howard. I just tried to wake him up. I can't find his cell phone. Yeah. But he's got people checking in at about 11, and I'll be closed and gone by then. So uh, if you want to call him about 11.15, it would probably be a good time to get a hold of him. All right, cool, man. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Later.
Motel Brain. Yeah, why do you guys keep hanging up on me? I'm trying to make a reservation. Sure, how many, sir? What? How many people, sir? Me and my girl, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking back hurt. Motel what the fuck kind of business are you guys running there that you hang up on me every time I call? Motel Rain. Motel Rain. Your downtown police department. Motel Rain. What's your emergency? My emergency is the Motel Rain is really starting to get on my nerves. Motel Rain. Hey, Howie, how you doing? <laughs> Motel Rain. Hey, who's this? It's John. Can I help you? Yeah, is Howard there? No, he's sleeping. Oh, he is? Do you know what time he's going to be up, man? I have no idea. Ah, uh, shucks. All right, hey, uh, do you have a cell phone number, bro? I do not. All right, hey, I'll call him later then. All right. All right, later. Rain Motel. Yeah, where's Howard? Uh, he's sleeping right now. Hey, can you go wake him up? No, I cannot. Well, why is that? I was, uh, was told not to. Well, I had a meeting with him, but uh, he ain't answering the phone number he gave me. Oh, yeah? What was the number he gave you? Yeah, it was supposed to be his cell phone. It was uh 1402-758-1746. Really? That's not even a local number. Hold on, man. Let me go get it. Uh, let me go up to the front desk see if I can find it for you. All right, thank you. Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, somebody gave you the wrong number. All right, what is it? 402. Hold pen. 402. All right, thank you. Yes, sir, thank you. Have a good day. Oh, my God. Sheriff's office, this is Carolyn. Yeah, hold on one second. Hello? Motel Rain. Hello? Yes, ma'am. This is an emergency center. Do you have a, an emergency? I'm sorry, I didn't call you. Motel Rain. You shouldn't prank all the police, man. That's not funny. They could bust you for that, you know. Yeah, so maybe you ought to stop prank calling people. <laughs> You're the one that just dialed their number, dumb fuck. <laughs> Motel Rain. Hey, Howard, how you doing? Motel Rain. Yeah, can you ask Howard if it's necessary that he hangs up all the time like that? I'm gonna get you, fucker. You're gonna get me? <laughs> How can I help you? Howard, who in the hell was that? Motel Rain. Yeah, who the fuck, did you just threaten me the other time I called? I sure did. I'm yeah. still gonna get you, you little fucker. What do you mean you're gonna get yeah, your mama's house and fucking come out and do some Look at here, you can come, come up. on over here and fucking say this to my face. Why wow, you, wow, you, you get off the phone, you. <laughs> yeah, I like to order a room for me and my cousin. Hello? Motel Rain. Yeah, why won't you talk to me, man? 
Anything? Motel Rain. No! I'm busy in the bar. I don't have time to talk to you assholes. Motel Rain. Hey, sweetie pie. Motel Rain. Hey, why do you hang up on me? Motel Rain. Motel Rain. Motel Rain. Motel Rain. Motel Rain. Motel Rain, would you like to book a room? Look, dude, I got business to do here. I don't know what your fucking problem is or why you got something wrong in your fucking head, but you need to just stop, all right? You, you said you... I on you. I got fucking police the on FCC? you. FCC? Did you say and the FCC? Anything, I'm going to find you and I'm going to take care of you. <laughs> Did you say the, the FCC? The Did you just say the FCC? <laughs> Yeah, I spoke to the FCC. They said you're full of shit. No, he was in Colombia as a drug. Motel Rain. Yeah, Howard, can you tell my fans about your drug meal experience in Colombia? Train mixed with guess what these are. Motel Rain. Yeah, you, we just got disconnected. Where are you located at? I don't have time for this shit tonight. Hey, fuck you, faggot. <laughs> Motel Rain. Hello. Motel Rain, how may I help you? Who is this? Brandy. Who? Is Who? Somebody said this was, you're calling me from out of town. You want me to take a call or something? Yeah, I've heard of this. I don't know what this is all about. Say what? So, the Apple, the phone company called me. He says you're, you're trying to call me or something. I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't no, I you. haven't heard nothing about that. All right, Tom. Thank you. Uh, bye. Hey, Howie, how you Hey, doing? motherfucker, I'm gonna cut your head off and shit in your neck. Take that. Your what? Motel Rain. Hey, how you doing? Is Howard there? Not. He's unloading his truck right now. Ah. Take a message? Yeah, yeah, you got a pen and paper? Yeah. 
Um, write this down. Just tell them I'll uh, be there tomorrow around uh, uh, to one fifteen, I guess. You got that? Who is it? Um, Mayhoff. My last name's Mayhoff. M E O F F. M E O F F. Yeah. First name is uh, Jack. Motel Rain this morning. Yeah, hi, Howard. How you doing? Hello? Yeah, fuckhead, hello. Motel Rain? Yeah, can I speak to Marv, Howard? <laughs> Your alias? <laughs> Howard? Marv. Marvard. Motel Rain, how may I help you? Marv is the second gayest name on Google. <laughs> Motel Rain? Does Marv have Twitter? Motel Rain. Motel Rain? Yeah, I needed to book a room. Uh, what night would you like? Uh, it's going to be sometime in early August, maybe around the 3rd or the 4th. Hello? I guarantee this fucker's going to hang out. Motel Rain? Yeah, we got disconnected. I was, I was going to say August 2nd or 3rd. I have no rooms. Oh, ouch. When's your nearest availability around the 2nd or 3rd? How's, it, how's that? Uh, do you have an availability anywhere around the 2nd or the 3rd? No, I have nothing till after 1st of September. Ouch. Oh, well, maybe, we, cool. maybe we could change shit around. You know, uh, the wife is just trying to get up there around where you guys are and take a little vacation. We just figured we'd book a room there. Do you know any uh, of the hotels in the area? Yeah, you might try the Super 8. The Super 8, and that's, is that right around where you guys are? Yeah. Well, that's good. Um, Can you give me their number, or should I just look it up in the, the local uh, phone book? No, I'll give you your number. Oh, okay. Let me get a pen. Okay. Oh, okay, What what is it now? Twelve fifty. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And what was your name? Yeah. Oh, my name's Howard. Um, I'm <laughs> we've been having a bunch of crank callers, and maybe you're not one of them. I'm sorry. Oh, it was okay, Howard. Uh, I'll I'll talk to you soon. Oh, one more thing, Howard. I wanna yeah. suck your dick, you stupid faggot motherfucker. <laughs> Motel Rain? Oh, baby. Oh, Howard. Oh. Motel Rain? Motel Rain? Uh, yes, um... Where's the girl that was talking to me? I thought she wanted to speak with you and ask you questions. He hung up on you. He doesn't like you. Pardon? Okay, I gotta go. Oh, all right. Have a nice bye night. Bye-bye. Go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Motel Rain. Hello? Hello? Um... Um, uh, I think you, your son called us and uh, transferred the phone to you. Uh, I don't exactly know Hello? what's going on. Hello? Montreal Rain. My name's Howard. My name's Howard. <laughs> Leave a message. 
This is Howard. Leave a message. <laughs> to record a voice message, press 3. To leave a callback number, press 1. Or, please leave your message after the tone. Oh my god, come on. Hey, I needed to book a room and you hung up on me, a prick. Like I said, you, you should fire that lady that gave me your phone number. She's probably not the smartest worker you've ever hired. You know, that's just my estimation. Anyway, Howard, I'll call you back again and again. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Classic. Later, bro. Hello? This is Howard. Leave a message. To record a voice message, press 3. To leave a callback number, press 1. Or, please leave your message after the tone. I just called Howard from the Motel Rings. Hey Howard, Happy New Year from your favorite person out there in internet land. Just wanted to let you know it's going to be a nice year of phone calls, buddy. One of these days you'll break down and talk to me and I can end this madness. But until then, I love you, man. Happy New Year. Hope everything's going well with your family. We miss you here, Howard. Talk to you later, buddy. Bye. Yeah, Howard. How you doing, buddy? Happy New Year. <laughs> Howard's personal cell number. Hi, I'd like to book a room. <laughs> oh, he's getting wise to it. Yeah. Hello? Hello, I'd like to book a room, please. Um, what day were you thinking? Uh, tonight if possible. Tonight if possible? Yes, if there's any vacancies for tonight, just a single bed. Okay. And what was the name on that, hun? Uh, the last name will be Gers. It's G-E-E-R-S, Gers. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, first name? Uh, the first name is Nick. Okay, and what time do you think you're going to show up? Uh, in about two and a half hours, if that's okay, dear. Two and a half hours? Yes, dear. Is Howard still on the motel, dear? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Is he actually still there? Um, he isn't right now. Oh, that's so sad. Where's he at, dear? Did he move away? I have no idea. Oh, who is this? I've never heard your name before, a voice. <laughs> I'm Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Hi. Okay, I got you down. Hey, Jessica, can I ask you something? Uh, what? Can I suck your pussy, baby, and lick the walls of your cunt until you squirt all over my face like a faucet? I want to finger your asshole too, baby. I'm wondering if that's okay with you. What do you say, Jessica? Is that okay? Good evening, Motel Rain. This is Brett. Can I help you? Yeah, hi. Are you guys still open? Yeah, we are. Uh, where are you guys located exactly? We're right on Highway 20. Okay, thank you. Um, are where you are you at? Uh, I'm on the way there, actually, on Highway 20. You're on Highway 20? Yes. Yeah, we're, so, we're at on Highway so, 20. So, uh, oh, I'm, I'll be there in about 15. Is that okay? Yeah, we're at on Highway 20, are you? Right next to your mom's pussy over here, baby, and we're going to fuck all night long. Can we're I get a room? fuck all night long. Yeah, Damn. we're going to fuck all night long. Uh, you like that? Yeah, they were 15... Douche. Hello. This is Howard. Leave a message. Mm. To record a voice message, press 3. To leave a callback number, press 1. Or, please leave your message after the tone. Hey, buddy. Just want to know if I could book a room. Guess you're laying down or something or eating dinner. Have a good day there, Howard. 
Just want to know if I could book a room, man. I guess not. Guess you're all booked up. All right, fucker. I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh. Howard's personal cell phone and see if we can book a room. Hello? Howard, I'd like to book a room. Howard? 